Welcome back to Fun Park here as we get ready to start the second half. Uh, Flown with a 2-0 lead here. So no changes at the at the half time it looks at. We're waiting for Darren Murphy and Kevin McHugh to get across the pitch here. And Dave Rogers and Tim McNutt's absence tonight. So I'm sure they've had a big team talk at halftime to see if they can get back into this game. The first 10, 15 minutes, no doubt, will be very important here as Athlone look to build on a really good first half. So Ab Abdelikar is on the ball. Very strong physical player. That was a late tackle there on Ryan Flood by the right back. And looked like he just got caught with the studs there, Shane. Don't think there was much intent on it, but just got caught. Yeah, I think, you know, if there was intent on it, uh, fourth official is there standing over it, you know, so he, he should be able to give a wee bit of input to the referee and the assistant uh, lines, you know, assistant referee down there as well. So, you know, Ryan Flood, he looks to be in a bit of pain there. So hopefully he can. Um, pop back up again but you know there's enough officials there to to assist with that decision yeah Thun Harp's coach is here asking the question of the fourth official if he's seen anything he's talking to the referee now So, Flood is back on his feet again here. Nicola Arias just checking him out. He looks like he's caught a sore one there. This is a free kick to Finn Harps and nothing more on their own halfway line here. Is Shimmy Monaco look to put this ball into the box? No, he's left it to Ellis Fair. No, it's a, you so know, it's a good indication for the Finn Harps lads as well that Athlone are here and they're, they're here to, to fight this out. Yeah, there's a 50 50 here. The keeper's done well to punch it out. Ball breaking the field here. There's a break on here for as Leo looks to the winger, but Ryan Flood is just back on the pitch. So a decent pass forward to Michael Harris. Turns inside. He's done well. Mashigo. Ryan Rennie will pick it up again. Look out to Shimish Kyo. Maybe no. He's gone central to Mashigo, who's nicked it round the corner, but just looking for something that wasn't there, maybe. Interesting to see now how Harps respond after that wee flash incident there, Shane. Yeah, and there's a few a few uh, we incidents there as we <coughs> that Van Harps could have got a free kick, you know, and uh, and that's how you create chances as well. We good delivery into the box, you know. So the we small margins, you know, of, of them maybe they were free kicks and that. Yeah, so when I see I see uh, Darren Murphy, he's calling for them we free kicks as well. Them decisions, as you do. Ball here is lost by Hickey, is it? As Ryan Rooney picks it up, goes back to No Baba, who's been a. Available all night in that position. So again, Shane, Aflone just dropping in into nearly like a low block, just letting Harps have it in the middle third here and letting them play around here, and they don't seem to be too fussed about it. <coughs> yeah, and that's what, that's what uh, I, was, I was talking about earlier. You know, maybe uh, one of the centre forwards can drop in and one of the midfielders can go in behind um, just to change it up a wee bit and give a different um, problem for the centre half in the back four. Far side, Kevin will throw us up the line to Hickey, who's has a strong challenge by Mishigo. So other scores from around full times here. Bray Wanders beat by Trudy, 3-0 tonight. Waterford get beat by Wexford, 1-0. It's a good result for them. Uh, Covammer's beating Kerry, 4-1. And Galway are currently getting beat by Longford in the 70th minute. There's a chance for Harps. And uh, it's just defended well the back post by Abdulkar. But, but more positive fun Harps are seeing better ball into the box. Yeah, good bit of work down the right hand side. And a, a great ball in by Seamus Kew. And um, in fairness to the, the right back, he did very well there to shepherd it out. Yeah, really with a great ball in the box. Oh, just came off the. Kew didn't really set himself. He's a bit unlucky. But there's a break on the far side for Delia. 
He keeps it in very well. He's pacing. Oh, he's just. The ball's going from him. He's retrieved it very well. Skillful winger looking to put a great ball into the box. It's offside though, but ref get the advantage as they play on. Plenty of bodies in the middle of the field again. Just wonder should they push maybe one of them centre midfielders further forward, Shane. Great ball by Ryan Rooney, Michael Harris on the one-on-one -on -one here. Can he get something out of this? Lukaku showing his strength there as he just takes the ball. Oh, strong talents by Michael Harris there. From Captain Hines and yeah. Ryan Rooney gives the ref the yeah. yellow card. <coughs> He drops it. <laughs> it's good, uh, a good ball by Ryan Rennie and uh, Michael Harrison. A good run and behind, you know. <coughs> Michael, maybe just to be a bit more positive, his first touch kind of across is the defender towards the goals. And the defender then has a, a decision to make whether to take him down or, or let him go past. So um, maybe in the next time he'll, he'll, he'll think about doing, do it, being more positive. So throwing to Fun Harpson's far side. Flood's going to go back to Mc McMonagall. Who looks to switch the play, maybe. No. Goes back into Farrer, who finds Hamer, who brings in Dahi McCallion, who got a lot of ball in the first half in this particular area. It's a good ball forward to the Silva this time. Is he Aaron Connolly sticking with him, though. Harps recycle the ball, there's space out the side for Ryan Flood. He's starting to get trying to get him into the game more, but they've gone out to the side again. It's a great challenge there, but Dahi McCallion, and it's a good enough strike with his left foot from McCallion. That's good to see him making that uh, forward run, Shane, maybe supporting the, the yeah, midfield and the front two. Yeah, when they're playing one up front, you know, you have three centre halves, so one, one of them centre halves can do that, you know, and Dahi has the quality to, do, to uh, push forward. It's well retrieved by Ryan Flood as he looks inside. They go long again, but it's Rodriguez. We'll find Lale, he shows good skill. Back to Rodriguez. There's time and space here for Ryan Rooney as he finds that man no battle again. Plenty of time and space in the middle of this field. It was a good tackle that time with the Silva. Mashego was in. That's a great strike. Ooh. It looked like it just shaved outside the poster, she maybe? Yeah, it, was, it did very well. You know, and, and that's what we were talking about. You know, Philip the Silva dropped in and Catlego Mashego gets past him. And uh, you know the defender's out of position, so it get, his first touch is fantastic. Um, just dragged it a wee bit wide there, but it was good to see him getting past the centre forward. Yeah, it's the first time Van Geenum has turned maybe in there, Shane. So something positive for Harvest to think about now is uh, again it need them support midfielders to get up beside the front too. That certainly would have been a good time to get a goal for Van Harps. As we said the first ten minutes is half very important to get, try and get back into this game. Rooney with a strong header forward again. He's been consistent tonight again, and he's just no nothing doing there. This is Danger Man again on the ball here, out in the far left. It's Franz Pirlo, he gets a throw in for his team high up the field. Yeah, very good for Ellis for air there defending. He didn't dive in. He just he showed him down the line, and um, he tried to cut in, and Ellis was good def good defending there. Yeah, young Fryer has been excellent for Van Harps this season. Shane, he's he's just commands this area, doesn't he? I think he's getting better every game, you know, he's growing into that position and he's taking responsibility, you can see him there directing and pointing and getting people to mark up, but balls into the box, you know, he's very commanding in the air, which, which you need. Nice turn there by Hickey at the edge of the box, he looks to unwind, but he's going to lay it off to Lille, who's looking for Kevin Hines, who's looked very dangerous in the first half, he's gone back to his fullback, Dicketer, who's found Rodriguez. Van Gienen with plenty of space on the left side here as he drives into that space. Maybe a chance for... Oh, he's done well. Strong power for him, but he's out of position now, and the ball has just gone out of play. First time we've seen them maybe on the front foot like that, and pushing players forward. Yeah, it looks like they're getting a wee foothold of the game. Um, just in the, last, in the last couple of minutes, really. Um, so hopefully uh, Van Harps can, can, can uh, turn that around and get in the front foot again. Long forward finds Hickey again. He's a really good first half for Athlone. And he's blocked that one, so throw in for Van Harps on the far side of the ground. I just imagine there the Alice Ferrer there, you know, he's, he's come into the club there, he's on loan from Stockport, and he's embraced the club, you know, and the, and the community's embraced him as well. 
um, and he was down at uh, academy games, you know, under 14, under 15, 17s and 19s games, you know. So he's taken a real interest in the club, um, just jo shows the, the character of the person. Yeah, 100% Shane. Been a great addition to this team this year. Flown on the break with Kevin this time. He looks to switch one to the far side. Up in Hines, look to control it. But the pressure here from the morning up. He finds Flood, and it's going to be a throw into Finn Harps. You and know, you don't, you don't really see what uh, Ryan Flood's do doing, you know. He, he's playing he's playing pretty deep, you know. He's, he's kind of left wing back, but he's, he's playing a wee bit deeper than that. But he's really stopping um, that loan's right, right winger, Hines, um, going forward. Because uh, they're very, very dangerous as centre forward. And uh, champion Hines as well down the right hand side. So Ryan Flood's doing a great job in his uh, defensive duties here for the team. So, so it will be the right back. Uh, I'll take it there with the throw here. Flood with the header forward. Ryan Rooney, who's definitely been caught there by Campion Hines. Uh, Ryan Rooney definitely feeling that. Yeah, hopefully uh, Ryan's not too bad. You know, I think he fell awkward um, from that. I don't think there was much in it. You know, Champion Hines really stood his ground and maybe, maybe. The, um, but Ryan was in the air when he got a wee shove, you know, so he landed awkward. And, um, Ryan wouldn't be a player that goes down, you know, so hopefully he's okay. Yeah, wasn't a lot on that, just fell very awkwardly as well, but the referee is just actually a yellow card. To camp in hand. So, uh, Nick Lair is on, is on the pitch again here. Harps starting to want to lose Ryan Rooney in the middle of the field. He's been excellent tonight, but he certainly looks a lot of pain down there, Shane. Yeah, so just uh, looking at his knee here. So hopefully it doesn't. Um, hopefully it's just a jar, uh, jarred knee, and uh, and he can get back up and continue. Tonight's match attendance is twelve hundred and twenty-one people. Twelve hundred and twenty-one. So, uh, so another uh, superb uh, attendance here at Fun Park tonight. Just over twelve hundred again, which has been consistent, Shane, over the last number of weeks, and it's great to see the team coming out and supporting Dave Rogers' team and believing in his project at the moment. Yeah, and that's a testament to Dave Rogers himself and the group and the staff for um, bringing it all together and everybody, uh, the culture of everybody together. Um, and as I said previously, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a long-term plan, you know, but it's fantastic that the, the crowds are, are so big, um, considering that they were um, relegated last year, you know. So the community is there behind the team, and I think they, they are working together and in time, in time uh, the club will get back to where they should be. Um, and that's, a, that's a, the goal for everybody and Dave Rogers. Yeah, so it's still 1-0 to Longford Town against Galway United, Shane, as they approached the last few minutes there. It's a bit of a shock result there tonight in the League of Ireland, first division. Yeah, and then, uh, you know, Wexford beating Waterford as well, 1-0. Yeah. So, uh, you know, it was a great chance for uh, Galway to push on and maintain their 100% record. Um, <coughs> but um, it, seems, it seems it's coming near the end of that game, you know. So, a uh, wee bit of concern here for Ryan Rainey. Um, just the, the medical staff still out there, you know, and Jared is and he's back up on his feet there. Just a, just a shout out there to Abby Shields there. She's watching online. Uh, fantastic prospect, um, a footballer. Uh, she played with Ulster Schools there um, last year, you know, so just a shout out to Abby Shields from uh, Patrick and myself here. Yeah. So. yeah, big shout out to Abby Shields and I'm afraid Ryan Rooney's evening is over here tonight at Fun Park. It's a huge loss for Fun Harps. So we were expecting Daniel could have come on at some stage, Shane, so he's got a good half an hour here now maybe to make an impression on this game. Yeah, absolutely, but, uh, you know, you, <laughs> you don't really want to be taking off Ryan, uh, Ryan Rainey. You know, he's been he's been really, really good this season um, and, and captain captain of the team tonight as well, you know, so. Yeah. But it gives somebody an opportunity and Daniel maybe come in and, and, and that's what Van Harps need, maybe that's just a different look. Yeah, Shimmy Monaco goes back here to Ellis Farr, who goes the far side. McCallion, he'll drive into this midfield area again. And just well cut out 
But uh, then this is maybe they were looking for to pick them off in a dangerous area. Franz Pio, he pulls inside. It's a good layoff. This is dangerous. Well defended by Noah Baba. And it's a corner to Athlone as we approach the hour mark here, Shane. Yeah, it's got, you know, it'll have to, the team will have to readjust without Ryan being in there. You know, he's been ever present as well. So, um, just, see, just seeing which way they're going to set up. I'll wait till the, the um, after the set piece and we'll see which way they're going to set up and who's going to replace Ryan in, in, in the centre midfield there. So, Athlone slowing this game down a bit. They're 2 0 in the lead and no hurry to get on with it. Um, good game management. The movement in the box here. It's well defended by Philip De Silva. Shimish Kyo will try and cut it out, but it's back here to Delia. He's gone out wide to Hickey's of the game on the ball. He's laid it off. And space for Aaron Connolly here. He'll strike, but it's a enough shot. It's cleared by Shimish Kyo. Time here for Rodriguez. Oh, he's missed control of the ball, but he's recovered the situation well as he finds his left full back right. So the home crowd here trying to get back behind the, the home time here. And we spark from somewhere in the second half to get things going as Novaba gets on the ball. Can he get out of here to flood? He looks for him, but it's going to favour the fullback who's come across and done his defensive duty well. You know, the right idea to get it out to Ryan Flood, but, you know, it's a, it's a, it's a big pitch, Fun Park, you know, so it's a, it's a long, long pass uh, from the centre midfield out to Ryan Flood here, so. Yeah, Athlone going to make a sub here now very soon. Adam Lennon, number seven, is going to come on here with half an hour to go. So Daniel Okola gets on the ball, looking to feed it forward to Michael Harris, but it's cut out. And Athlone have been solid in defence tonight so far, so it's... Going to be number 20, Kevin Hines on this right wing, who's been uh, very dangerous in the first half, um, very speedy, skillful player. But with uh, two games over the weekend, he's probably feeling the strengths of that now. So, so then we'll take up his right hand side here. Again, they set up very deep. And Harps go back to Alice Farrow, who's put a great ball up to the right-hand side there. And Van Geenen will give away the corner. So, something positive for Harps to build on here is Ryan Flood will try and get his trusty left foot onto this, no doubt, to get into the box. Yeah, it's a good opportunity for Van Harps here to get a goal back. A uh, good delivery by Ryan Flood here will be important. So, if yeah. Dahi McCallion up there, if Alice Ferrer, you've... Um, Shane McMonagall here, all good in the yeah. air, so just a wee bit of movement now and get into the right areas and hopefully the ball will come to them and they can stick it in the net. Yeah, so, so it'll be Ryan Flood from this far side here. You know, whip one into the box, plenty of movement inside, it's a great header. That's not just centre forward coming back for Shane, a great header out of the box there. Yeah, that's the position. Uh, that's the position the centre forwards would take up. All right, I suppose Ryan, Ryan Flood a bit uh, disappointed there. It's just uh, you know, it's important to beat the first man as well. It gives gives the, the runners a chance once you get over that first man. Yeah, Seamus Kuo here set up by right. Philip De Silva who gets on it again. As a goal kick to Aflone, so a wee bit of pressure there. It's relieved for Aflone as I look to. Yeah, just with Ryan Rainey going off there. It looks like Philip De Silva has dropped into. Uh, Getting into the hole there, um, yeah. into number 10, and then uh, Kid Lega Machine goes on beside um, Noah Baba. So uh, Daniel Lukuti and Michael Harris is up front. Yeah, and no doubt uh, De Silva will join them at every opportunity. Well, Baba has gone down the middle of the field with a head injury. The referee plays on. Aaron Connolly on the ball. It's a Dangerous ball into the box. Tom Hammer has stayed. And it's Lennon here, the subs, looking to make something count here. And he's well wide with the shot. Yeah, no, no, uh, Baba got a, a, got a finger in the eye, I think it was. It was a hand in the face, you know, but, you know, he should be all right. But the uh, biggest concern there is Ellis Ferrer. Um, 
the ball over the top he, he, he cleared it back over his head but uh, he seems like he's twinged his hamstring a wee bit you know so that's um that's going to be a big loss if he if he has to come out hopefully it's just a, a wee bit of cramp but um we'll just see how see how he goes in the next couple of minutes to see how he's moving yeah so it looks like a bit of cramp he gets a bit of assistance from his teammates there yeah i'm not at I don't think it's cramped now. I think it's it could be twins there, you know. So hopefully he can run this. Uh, yeah. See, you know, you know, with the hamstring, I suppose uh, you know, are you better to play on, or you better to come off, you know. But it'll be a massive yeah. loss. He's certainly uh, stretching that hamstring. It doesn't look yeah. too good for uh, Ellisford. They don't certainly want to lose him at this stage of the game. Yeah. You know, I thought it, you know it was a, it was a facing injury. You think the referee would have stopped it, um, and then that ball wouldn't have, wouldn't have been played over the top and. So, um, Tim Hammer here will we'll just give an eye start to play. Ellis for air now in the next couple of minutes to see how he is. Yeah. The way he's holding himself, I wouldn't be too confident. Diane McCallion goes into Michael Harris, who's must control the ball. There's a shot, and it's gone. I might, have, might have cleared the fun too, in that one. I've done that once or twice myself. <laughs> no doubt. And uh, no, definitely Ellisfar is this evening's over as well. Yeah. So two main players off now for Fun Harps. Love see to get back into this see game. See Sean O'Donnell's coming on here, um, making a change here. Uh, Fun Harps maybe. Maybe four at the back, maybe. Yeah, I think uh, Shane McMonagall will come go into the centre half with Dahi McCallion. Ryan Flood will go left back and she probably Shane right back. Right yeah. back. Um, Sean O'Donnell will, will come out on the left hand side here. Uh, so we're looking at a four three three here. For Fun Harps, yeah. So let's keep on coming here for Fun Harps tonight. Just lost two key players now, but up the lads on the pitch now to roll up their sleeves and get back into this game. Sean O'Donnell comes in hard on the right back, and the ref is given a free. It's a substitute. Lennon gets a free first team as Abdicadir still stays down here after a strong challenge by Sean O'Donnell. I think uh, I think he's play acting here a wee bit, you know, because Sean went down for a ball, didn't really touch him, and he cleared the ball fair, fairly. Sean didn't touch him, and as you can see, he's up walking around here. So, um, a wee bit of play acting there. We'll take your word for it. As a ball in the box, he was certainly able to hit that, no problem. McCallan backpedaling. There's a great defensive header out of there. Can Harps keep possession? No, they've given it away again. But as a throw into Van Harps near the halfway line, as it looked to get on it, resume the play. Shimish Kyo goes back to McCallion. Switches on here to Ryan Flood. So it goes to McMonagall. Ryan Flood with the forward ball into Daniel Okoda. It's a good tackle by Mishigo. There's a chance here for Harris to strike one, but he's put it. Over the town end this time, Shane. Decent chance there, Shane, to get one on target. Yeah, and no, no, no. fair this time, he received it pretty well. He opened up his body, and it, and it was a great first touch to be able to strike it. Now, it would have been a great strike to to score from there, but um, it was it was worth a try. I think the crowd need to get behind the team as well. Now, it's gone a bit flat um, here in the ground, so um, I think everybody in the Funny Harps crowd need to take responsibility to, to get this team going again. Um, yeah, you can see and the experience after the old team, Shane. They just know how to play, yeah. look, just play this game out, aren't they, really? Yeah, surely. Yeah. Good but game there's management. There's still plenty of time here. There's yep. 23 minutes left, you know, so. Yeah. Um, Sean Donald, no Baba. He finds Ryan Flood. Oh, Shane McMonagall's let it through his foot. This is big trouble for Fun Harps, and there's chances there. And what a save by Tom Heimer. Tom Heimer. Yeah. Super save from Heimer there, Shane. But, what uh, a save. I kept his team, kept his team on it, you know, because you go down three, down, three nil down uh, with 20, 22 minutes to go. You're really struggling to get back on it, but they're still, they're still there now on it. We bit of lapse in concentration there at the back there, but uh, Shane McBonagall. But come yeah. here, you get that out of your system, and you start again. Yeah. I'm not sure that ball took a bit of bubble on the pitch here, but it just definitely took his eye off it and just allowed that a chance for a second hat trick Shane there and. Uh, Franz Pirro tested out Tim Hammer, who was equal to the 
to the shot. So corner here for Athlone. Uh, still danger here for Van Harps. It's a deep ball. Hickey's got a free header. He's hit the bar. And it's a great finish by their right back. Abdicator. I did say she in the trouble wasn't over yet. And they made Har Van Harps. They punished them there, so did yeah, it was a deep ball into the back post, and um, he got a free header, and uh, I think uh, Heimer saved the first one, you know, and it, it went on to the bar, and it was acrobatic, acrobatic finish there. Um, yeah, it's the right back. Uh, the right back, uh, yep. Uh, Dick with the with the goal there. And do you know what, Shane? When you lose Ryan Rooney and Ellis Farrer, who are both very good in the air, there's always going to be trouble there from that set piece. Yeah, and, uh, and you know, there's as, as we were talking about, Ellis, you know, he, he takes control of that situation in there. And maybe you must add a wee bit of leadership um, and Ryan as well, the, you know, the, the talking and organising, you know, but um, Finn Harpson, you know, they, ne they need to keep going, keep playing to their principles and keep pushing on. You know, uh, you're not going to win every game. Yeah, you know, uh, that's a terrible challenge there by the right back and young Chandler, the goal scorer there, getting a, a yellow card. You know, you're, uh, as I say, you're not going to win every game, but, uh, you know, you're trying to go out and win every game, which is important as well. And you know, get the, the culture in the club that it's a, a positive kind of culture. Um, and just Van Harps need to keep going. You need to keep keep uh, doing, the, doing the simple things right here. Yeah, so chance for Ryan Flood to get the ball in the box. See if they can kickstart a comeback here. 70 minutes gone here at Van Park. 3-0 to the away team. It's a great ball into the box. Chance for Philip De Silva. It just got away from him, but the break is on here now for her, for Aflon. It's a Michael Harris looking to make the challenge. It's a good ball out to the winger here, Lennon. He's going to whip one to the far side. But Daniel Alcuda is pulled from behind. It's a yeah. respite for Van Harps. You know, good ball in by Ryan Flood there again. Um, just, a, a, you know, it came through a lot of bodies there to Philip De Silva, you know, but... Uh, it's, it's really hard to take that ball down then have a shot you know maybe you should be shit, shooting uh, first day uh first time you know and that and that's the danger then you know you're you're pushing people forward and then athlo one or counter-attacking team as we said before um they're very very dangerous on the back on the break yeah, so looks, looks like a free kick uh. yeah van Gien. i get ryan flood on that again um, and, get it was. and get uh, the delivery in a good quality delivery so i think it's gonna be shimmer's kill this time Again, you're missing that far and, and running in the box, Shane, for these set pieces as well. You're looking for maybe the Silva to get on the end of it. You could slip one down the side there, you know, Catalega Mashego yeah, could do it down the side or right hand side. And <laughs> just the opportunity's yeah, gone there. Calvin has covered Red that. Ball on. That's a very good ball. Keeper's done well. And it's Ryan Flood. He looked to go out wide. No, he's put it back in, but it's ah, it's it's Yeah, it was too far out to have a shot. You know, it was the right idea to dink it back in again, just a wee bit too close to the goalkeeper. Good ball, Ambush Yamas Kuo there. Um, you know, uh, you know, you do miss uh, um, Ellis Ferrer, not, not can challenge him for them kind of balls. Yeah, some tired legs out there now too, Shane, after their second game within a few days. So... A flow and Van is going to drive into the middle of the field here. He finds the winger, Dalia, who's been decent all night. She was a good turn of pace and a great strike and a great finish. On challenger to cut inside there, Shane. He's, he's finished very, very well. Yeah, probably a wee bit too easy on that side. Just <coughs> cutting in, but uh, showed a bit of quality. Now you come in, a, a fantastic strike. Uh, um, and I see Tim, Heyer, Tim Heimer there just to... Uh, uh, asking for a wee bit of pressure on the shot, um, but I uh, know a good strike in the end, and this game uh, seems to be running away um, for Fun Harps here. Yep, in the 74th minute here, so it's 4 0 now to Athlone Town, and uh, I've no doubt um, another learning experience for Fun Harp, this young team here tonight again. Yeah, absolutely. Th that's what it's all about, learning. You know, of course, you don't want to lose any games, you know, and, and especially, in, uh, you know, and even by one goal, two goals, three goals, or in this manner. Yeah. Um, but, if, you know, if the, if the whole squad or the, or the players can learn from this, then at least you can take that positive out of, out of it. Yeah. So, you know, there's Porsche corner here. Daniel Aguado gets 
the home team. Another set piece here, it will be Ryan Flood this time who goes out to take this one. So flood here. Seen Harps go in search of a of a goal here to give the home fans a wee lift here. It's a deep cross to the back post, but that's going to drift out of play and a, and a goal kick. So there are three substitutions here for uh, Flown. Uh, four 0 up cruising at this stage, and after a game on Friday night where they had a good three 0 win over Wexford, they're going to bring in a few players here now. So Matthew. Baker's going to come on, Blake Ryan. And number five, Charles Mutoe is going to come on as well. So it's the goal scorer, uh, Dolea, who has been a constant menace on the left wing all night. He's had a good game. And uh, right back, who's been carrying the yellow card, Abdegadir, who got the third goal for Aflone. And well, one more to come off here is going to be the number 25. It's going to be Matthew Leal who's going to come off. So as far as Athlone are concerned, Shane, they've uh, put on a solid performance there tonight. And uh, they have a few more experienced players in their camp and they're very solid at the back. They haven't seen many goals this year. Yeah, they didn't. They didn't venture forward much, really. But they 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 sat in, hitting a break. Um, you know, can you do that in every game? Uh, probably not. But um, that was that was their plan today. You know, and it, it worked a treat for them. Yeah, so, then the quarter tries to get the ball. Was you know saying saying that saying that in the first half, you know the the two goals that they got uh, featured us penalty and really one counter attack um, so Finnharts would have been disappointed um, going 2 nil down at half time uh, coming in at half time um, playing pretty well um, it's just a third goal really killed it, killed the game then so McCallion will go to Kyo who comes back in to Dahi McCallion again for uh, Mishigo Baba under pressure from Aaron Connolly. Goes back to Tim Heimer. He's up to start again through Shane McMonagall. Oh, that's an ambitious ball. And there's the sub who just lost possession there. Number number five there. Uh, Charles Mutawi. Michael Harris goes back inside to Mishigo. Babo will switch the play to this right side to Shimish Kyo. And it's, oh, oh, it's at the bar. From a and swing across there good from Shimish Kyo. Yeah, Shimish Kyo. Yeah, just, uh, just looking at the setup when the Van Harps are attacking there. They're uh, Athlona really d defending with a with 11 or uh, 10 players and, and they're just keeping the centre forward up you know so um, so they're getting a lot of bodies behind the ball but it was a good ball in there by Seamus Kewood and just uh, just shaved off the crossbar So Rodriguez looks to play a diagonal ball over to the sub Ryan who's competed well and these substitutions making looking impression when they come on too and certainly coming at Harps up the side again but Diane McCallion shows good strength and he's done well there. He's another fine game tonight in fairness to young McCallion Shane. Yeah he's, he's done, done well, well. you know yeah. it's a tough opposition that he's playing against the, the centre forward but he's done well with what he had to do there. Yeah so Shane McMonigal more game time under his belt as well. It's a good play by Noah Baba who just gets past Aaron Connolly. A flown happy all night Shane to let Harps play that ball back again and set, set back in. They've uh, certainly got their tactics right tonight. Yeah, they're just they're just playing to their strengths really, you know. So they're they're pretty quick 
and dynamic up front, so they're sitting and hitting on the break, as we said at the, the beginning. Um, and, that, and that seems to be the way they play all the time. Yeah, so it does a point and end this weekend for Van Harp as a trail 4 0 here at, at home to Athlone Town. It's strong time challenge there by Daniel Alcotta, but it's going to be a free uh, goal kick, sorry. You know, it's, it's, it's a pretty difficult situation for the players to be in, you know, uh, with the scoreline with 10 minutes to go, 10 11 minutes to go, but it would be great to see them just kind of pushing on and, and finishing this game on a positive note um, and getting everybody chasing the ball up good and high and getting something out, out of the last 10 minutes. Yeah, as Ashugo finds him as Q, who looks like he's pushed from Ryan, yeah. He's kicked the ball away, so he's going to get himself a silly yellow card there at this stage of the game. And you're 4 0 up, there's no need to pick up a book like that, is there? I think that's one of the substitutions to come on yeah. as well, so he shouldn't really be first stated. Young Ryan on the left side there. So fair play to the crowd here, still getting behind their, the team here. As Seamus Kuehl will deliver no, another ball into the box. They look for the height of the Silva. That's a good flick on, but it's, it's gone wide. I think it was maybe Noah Baba that got on that chain. Yeah, it was unlucky. Another good ball in and uh, just get, couldn't uh, get in the direction of the goals. You know, in fairness to the crowd, the crowd are, are still here encouraging the team. So um, it looks like looks like we're, we're all on it together. Yeah, as uh, Athlone looks to pick another sub here, it'll be Matthew McCarrick entering the fray here as we are into the 82nd minute. So we'll just wait on the fourth official to get the number up, and it's going to be the centre forward. Uh, Shaney's he hasn't been overly involved in the game, but when he has been involved, he's been very effective for Athlone. Yeah, he's, he's been a threat once uh, the ball comes up to him, as you say. He hasn't, he hasn't worked as much off the ball, but see when he ha uh, the ball's in around him, he's very dynamic and powerful. Um, he's, you know, he took his goal very well, and I know he scored the penalty as well. Yeah, so France Proud leaves the game with five goals to his name this weekend. As Aaron Connolly plays the ball forward to the substitute. McCarrick. Young Sean Donald, the ball forward. Yeah, so plenty of work to do um, this weekend for Fun Harps as they travel to Cove next weekend, and a couple of injuries now for sure as well. So a lot of key players. So it's going to be uh, Michigan. So it's Damien Duffy here. Uh, will come on, and Kevin Jordan on here as well for Ryan Flood, so good to see the young lads coming on, Shane, and part of Dave Rogers' project is bringing these young lads through from Kevin McHugh's academy. Yeah, as I said before, you know, it's, it's, uh, it's it won't be a quick fix, you know, it's a, it's a whole kind of building job, um, and it's great for for the, the young academy players to get to get their opportunity. Um, and I say, it'll, it'll take time, and, and, and as uh, hopefully the community knows, and the club knows, and players, and, and the coaching staff, it's going to take time, um, and when that, when we know it's going to take time, um, everybody should be patient enough um, and look forward, look forward and watch the progression. You're going to have the good days and you're going to have not so good days. Um, yeah. So as we enter into the last six minutes here, normal times, no dangerous ball in the box. That man, Rodriguez, who's just a fraction offside there. So, young Jordan will go on the left back here. So, McKellen to Kyo, who looks to go forward to Van Gaines there again with a positive header. Got to have a bit of space in here. He'll attack. 
Looks for young Sean O'Donnell. Who's flicked it over the defender very well. Good bit of skill here, the young Sean man. And he's earned his team as corner. Good play there by O'Donnell. Sheen uh, cutting inside and with a bit of skill and, and getting something for his team. Yeah, it was a good ball out to him. You know, his, his, fir his first touch was very, very good. He just clipped it past the defender, you know. So Sean has that, he has that excitement and pace running on behind that, you know. So as I say, that's, you know, it's getting minutes under the belt of that pl uh, players like Sean and that. Um, and hopefully in time, you know, they'll be they'll be main players with Van Harps going forward. Referee just has to speak to a couple of players here about a pushing and shoving at this stage, but it's so. Let's see the school going to swing this in. Good strong header by Hickey again. He's been effective in both boxes tonight. This young Sean O'Donnell may get another corner this time for yeah, his I think, team. I think that's a big part of the game. You know, Hickey was, you know, he's defensively he's done well with headers and 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 uh, obs and, and, and attacking sense as well. But even for them goal kicks, you know, he's standing in midfield and he's flicking them on. You know, and and they've got runners in behind that, and that's really, you know, I, I know. Um, uh, they scored a number ten, scored a, a lovely goal, but it, really, it's really down the middle and kind of working off. Uh, flick of ones in that. Yeah. So the ball swung into the box. As soon as Kyo finds Duffy. It's a decent ball in. Daniel Crudder is dropping about. Oh, it's well cleared by that man, Hickey, again. Right yeah, you know, that, that's what we talked about a couple of minutes ago. You know, it'd be nice to see Van Harps kind of pushing the last 10 minutes to um, finish this game on a, on a so called kind of positive note. But. It looks like you know they're they're playing in the uh, the Athlone's half here, so hopefully they can get a wee goal here. So again, looks like Duffy's gonna swing it with his left foot. It's a dangerous ball. It's a has oh breaks to O'Donnell who looks to put it back in the danger area. Noah lays it off to Duffy. He's come strong challenge, but he's come out this far side as Kevin Jordan won't keep that in. I'm sorry, it was Sean O'Donnell. So it's going to be the right back here, Baker with the throw. It's Noah Baba finds Michael Harris with a nice turn in the middle of the field. Yeah, and referee tried to get the yeah. advantage, but it wasn't forthcoming. So he's free kicked the fun Harps as Duffy will look to get on it here. Kyo finds Kevin Jordan here in a bit of space. He's going to whip one on his left foot, so he's a bit close to the keeper. Who's taking it well? So, so he's no hurry to get on with the play here. He just slows it down, and it will be a comfortable journey back home for the Athlone players tonight. Shane, as they've come to Fun Park and got what they've wanted three points. That's twice now this year they've they've beaten Fun Harps. Yeah, but you know, looking at the age of the players, you know, their average age is nearly 24 years of age, 25 years of age. You know, so there's a lot of experience in that team compared to Fun Harps. You're looking at 19, 20. Um, 100. Yeah, percent You know, so. That that does that does tells a tale as well. Um, so you can imagine these players when the Funhouse players are kind of average age is twenty four, you know. So it's a bit different prospect. As I say, you know, it's a it's a it's a, a ball, learning curve. It's yeah. a learning curve, surely. Yeah. yeah. No Baba here, just on the ball. So he's looked to play. He hasn't given up. That's for sure. So Kill cuts inside. It's a good ball forward. To Michael Harris. Looks like he's taken down by the left back Kavanagh. Uh, hopefully, uh, Michael will get up as well because uh, there's, you know, looks you like he's in a bit of pain injuries. as well here yeah. as he feels um, the wrath of that challenge. You know, fun, you know, fun Harps have a way trip to Cove, you know, so they, they don't want any more injuries. Yeah, I think that's the most disappointing thing for uh, Darren Murphy down there tonight um, is the amount of injuries Fun Harps have picked up tonight, Shane, and already on the sideline is uh, young Kevin Porter, young Shawnee Bradley. A lot of first team players on the yeah, and Keith Cowden there as well. Keith Cowden know, so too. So there's a lot of players out, and it's a, it's a yeah, great sir. Philip De Silva nice with a lovely by header by there. Yeah. Great ball in by I think it was Shimas Kill, was it? Yeah, yeah, and that's what, the, you know. That's good. I appreciate the effort put in by these. Fun Harps team as they kept going to the final whistle here. Yeah, exactly. And the crowd, the crowd has stayed here as well. You know, they're staying, they're they're growing on their their team here. So.
Good ball, and Seamus Kilwin. Fill out the Silva, you know, that's another goal for him as well. So, Bulls has confidence, but it was, it was a nice header he got in front of the defender. So the drums, you know, the the, the crowd are still are still pushing the team on, you know. So it was good, a good positive note in the last 10 or 15 minutes here. Yeah, so as we're into the 90th minute here at Fun Park. No Baba just has kept going all night. As a shameless Q went to the Silva. So five minutes injury time here. Plenty of time to get three goals, Shane. <laughs> well, well. That looks like a handball, but the ref doesn't give that one. Here's another chance. So it's side net, no. Yes, that. Uh, it looked like a wee handball in there as well, you know, so <laughs> it's... Uh, good to see the energy there. Energy by the Fun Harps team coming near this time, uh, the end of the game, you know, at the scoreline, the way it was. Um, it shows a wee bit of character on the team, you know, and that's that's what you need, you know, you, every day is a learning day, as you would say, but um, it's nice to see a wee bit of character and um, fighting, fighting for their, for their pride, really. Long ball up here, as Huggy gets that flick on again, but this time it's out for a throw. So we want to go looking to get on with it early. So Kevin Jordy goes in. It's a long throw, it's defended by Baker. It's a throw in for Harps again. Kevin Jordy. Daniel. Intercepted. McCarrick holds it up, and it's just. And the night sky by Lennon in the sub. It's a difficult one here for McCallion. He's done well to flick it over to foul for sure, yeah. Yeah, done very well because it was uh, it was one against two there, so uh, it was a good, good back header um, out, of, out of danger there, and he was fouled. So, Shimish Kyo was unlucky they were double ricochet there. As uh, Jack Cavanaugh will just slow it down here. So free kick here to Aflone on the far side. So once again, we'll give a shout out to uh, Letterkin Retail Park who sponsored tonight's game. And of course, the Van Harris main sponsor, Solo. So put the ball into the box, the header. I think it was Rodriguez got on the end of that. No, it was Hickey, sorry. Sandal cuts inside again, shows his return of pace. It's a nice wee dink ball into the box, Harris. Got it. Another good uh, run there by Sean O'Donnell. He's yeah, done well to come on tonight, Shane. Yeah, a wee bit of composure there as well. And it was good, and it was a good run by Michael Harris from the right wing. Um, coming across, and it was good round. Just a, the ball was a wee bit too long. or You know, the, the keeper is good positioning as well. He, was, he played out a wee bit. Yeah. On forward to Harris, who's Michael Harris is away Fox, here down the left. Rodriguez this time he recovers very well. Chance to get the ball into the back post, but it's going to be cleared by Kavanagh. That's a substitute, Ryan, who gives it back to Kavanagh, who clears his lines. So it's here. About two minutes to go here at Fun Park. So Rodriguez clears easily, but. No Baba, who's had a good game tonight again. So Dahi McCallion cuts inside. Looking to switch the play here. It's a good ball by Baba. Michael Harris cuts inside. They just overrun it. It's a good touch by McCarrick. Who looks to put through Ryan, but it's well cut out by young McCallion, who goes on hard. What a great tackle by the young dairy man. Oh, it's just Rush the ball through. Good tackle there with McCann at this stage of the game, Shane. Yeah, it was, uh, you know, in fairness to the uh, Athlone player as well, the two of them bounced up. Um, so it was a good competitive challenge there. Just shows the eagerness and the, and the hunger they still have, you know, the players out there. So it's, it's good to see. Just a shout out to Ath the all Athlone uh, supporters that came up uh, and made the journey here in this bank holiday Monday. Um, I see them in the far side and they're, they'll are they be happy, happy going down the road. So. A safe trip back to them. Um, 
And thanks for coming up. It's good to see you, as I say, every every week it's good to see you, the away supporters. Yeah, no doubt about that. And uh, I suppose the big result tonight in this division, Shane, is Longford beating Galway tonight 1-0. So credit to them. Sean O'Donnell's going to have us a little dink ball inside. It's a great ball. The Silva cuts it back. And it's well defended by Van Geenen. Encouraging play from the Fun Harps forwards there again. You know, Sean did well down the left hand side here, and, and Philip De Silva made a great run. And the, the only place he could have put that ball is where he put it. You know, so maybe his, his striking partners needs to needs to anticipate that. You know, he was never going to get it to the back post. It was always going to be into the front post. So maybe gamble and make that run into the front post. Yeah. Finishing the game strong at least here, and it's going to be a ball into the box. Joe's gone near post. A flick has come back out here. It's going to be a corner again. As we're into the depths here at Fun Park. And uh, so the referee looks at his watch. This could be the last action of the night. So let's whip this ball in deeper this time. It's a great header by Hickey again. Silver will challenge for that. The ball breaks in the box. But Kevin has switched and the referee has decided. Enough enough here at Fun Park. And the uh, 4-1 victory for the way team have flown tonight, Shane. Uh, they've played a very good game. They're a strong physical team, plenty of experience in the team, and it'll be a learning experience again for that young Fun Harps team there tonight, and a couple of them just picked up too. So overall, Shane, your thoughts on the game? Yeah, of course. I think, you know, they played they played to their strengths, you know, and they played a certain way, and they and they, they got the result. They got a good cushion of a lead. Um, Fun Harps side is still, still playing the positive football that they want to play going forward. Um, crowd got behind them as well you know they, they they pressed their chest up high they played in the front foot and the encouraging thing was you know <laughs> you know the last 10 or 15 minutes that they did they did kind of didn't give up and they they pushed on and they got that goal um that's nothing to take away that the players that was on that for the 80 minutes prior to that uh, because they put in a fantastic shift as well it was just um i think athlone just they, they played with a certain certain style and and, and that's they they came, ho came away with the result but as i say it's a it's a it's a building job for fun harps and it's an encouraging that they can keep going it shows a wee bit of character as well that they can keep going and when there are are kind of a couple of goals down that they can they can push on as well they look at the, it's fantastic there you can see the the kind of the bond between the the team and the coaching staff and the community as well which is what steve rogers is trying to build um doesn't matter what the score, you know. So they're they're all in this together as well, which is very important as well for the project going forward. Yeah, a hundred percent, Shane. Uh, good to see that here at Fun Park. Uh, the home crowd appreciate the efforts of the Fun Harp team, and uh, their goal scorer tonight, Philip De Silva. Um, France Pirro with two for Aflone. They're right back at Dicadier with a goal, and the last score coming from Delea there as they scored four goals. So four one here at Fun Park to the way team at Flown Town and 